right, Jenna? Only a sophomore. You win your regions. Let's talk about that. What was your regional race like? Um, I thought it went really well. I, um, since I came in eighth there last year, my main goal, I really just wanted to be able to make it back here since I enjoyed the experience so much. Yeah, talk about what happened during that race. Were you leading? What did you want to do going into it? Talk about it. Yeah, um, my goal for that race was really just to mainly qualify and just really to finish as high as I possibly could. Um, I didn't really take the lead during the race until um, probably a little over the halfway point, and then me and the second place girl, Ava, were running together pretty much the whole time. And then I um, kicked ahead at the end, but it was mostly a, a made the move in the middle. You said you wanted to get back here. Yes. Have you been thinking about this race since last year? Yes, it's been it's been my dream ever since the end of last year. I had such a great time here, so I really wanted to be able to come back. What was your place last year? Uh, ninth. Ninth last year. What's the goal for this year? Um, well, I'd really just like to be able to improve and just be able to get better and just try my very best out there. You've had a really good, we had a good cross country season last year, great outdoor track season. What is, what's happening with you? Are you just like, you know, excited about the sport? Is it the training? What is it about Jenna Hutchings that we need to know? <laughs> yeah, um, well, I just, I really love really anything about running in general. It's just been a passion of mine for a really long time. And so I just enjoy getting to go out there and train every day. And then um, my hard work's been paying off over these, next, or over these last couple of seasons. So I'm excited to see what I can do this weekend. As a returner, what kind of advice would you give somebody that is getting ready to run their very first time here? Um, I think the main thing that really helped me last year was to not to stress about the race, just to focus on have fun or on having fun and enjoying the experience. And then I think once you get out there on the course, it makes it just a lot easier to do your best. Yeah, being part of this Foot Locker family, is that pretty special to you? Yes, it's extremely special. Everyone here is so nice and just very supportive of everyone. So I'm really glad to be back. When you think of the athletes that have come before you and raced here, and now they make it as a career of their own, um, is that something that you look forward to? And if so, like who is somebody that you've looked up to that was a Foot Locker finalist? Yeah, for sure. Um, professional running would always be a big dream of mine. That would be something really fun to be able to achieve. Um, I uh, really like Dina Castor or Dina Drossen back then, so I really look up to her, and she's a real inspiration for me. So you've watched some of these races? Yes. Ever since I've been little, around eight years old, I've been watching the Foot Locker videos and just my dream was to be able to make it here when I when I came of age. That's awesome. you have anything, Tim? Um, yeah, you said something that just in the middle of making a note of that. Mm -hmm. um, Dina Castro, Dina Drosom, you even knew the Macy she, name? She did. Yeah. Yeah. She's so sweet. Yeah, right. so I've followed her for a long time. I really enjoy looking up to her. How did you guys get out to Arizona to race? You went to the Twilight. Yes, I did. Um, we, d we decided to um, go and do a, a race maybe that was a little bit quicker this year, something that uh, maybe wasn't as local. And so just to really see what I could do out there and get a fun experience You're out of that. Fast. Yeah, it was, um, it was a really good race. Uh, the, it was at night and it was a really fun atmosphere. So mm -hmm. I really uh, enjoyed that race. It was one of the highlights of my season.